Please welcome to the stage, Ruth Dickey, Executive Director of the National Book Foundation. Hello. Good evening, everyone. I'm so grateful to have a moment amidst tonight's luminous celebrations of books and writers to also talk about the work that we do year-round supporting readers. As you just saw in that great video, through a slate of education and public programs, the National Book Foundation has reached readers in nearly all 50 states. Just this past year, we visited communities across the country, from Miami, Florida, to Tucson, Arizona, and from the Mississippi Delta to Huntsville, Texas. In May, National Book Award honorees Tess Gunty and Tommy Orange joined us in Montana for events at Salish Kootenai College, a community college on the Flathead Reservation, and with Elk River Arts and Lectures in Livingston, Montana. Yeah, it was amazing. Attendees thanked us, and some of them mentioned they had driven six hours to be with us at the event. Those words have stuck with me ever since, a reminder that in every corner of the country, there is a hunger for reading, a hunger for meeting writers and for conversations, and a hunger for connecting with books that capture the diversity and complexity of the human experience. At the National Book Foundation, we want books to be a vibrant and accessible part of every community. And to do that, we need your help. We're just $57,000 from reaching tonight's fundraising goal, and we hope that you will help us to reach it. For those of you in the room with us, there are QR codes at your table and on your menu, so you can get out your phone right now and write down and do that in the room with us. Or if you prefer to make a pledge or donate with a cash or check, we'll have volunteers stationed to collect donations at the end of the night. For our viewers at home, please follow the link in the chat or visit nationalbook.org backslash give. A donation of any amount will help us bring more authors to more communities to get more books into the hands of more young people and to help ensure that books remain a thriving part of our culture. So as you make your donations, I hope you are all getting out your phones and making those donations right now. I'd love to thank a few more really important people. Thank you to the National Book Foundation Board of Directors for your tremendous leadership, your guidance, and your unwavering commitment to this work. Thank you to our book council, our host committee, and our after party committee for lending us your time, your expertise, and your cheer. Thank you to our collaborators at Really Useful Media who are producing tonight's broadcast for readers across the country. Thank you to our incredible design team at Chips with additional design support from Jar Fong, who always makes sure we look our very best. Immense thanks to tonight's host, LeVar Burton, for being a lifelong hero for books and an ally in our work. And thanks to our very special guest, Oprah Winfrey, for being an incomparable champion of books and writers. Last, but certainly not least, we need a whole room tremendous thank you for the volunteers, interns, and small but mighty staff of the National Book Foundation. Right? Yeah. Huge, huge thank you to Meredith Andrews, Natalie Green, Erica Hattori, Emily Lovett, Julia, Le Juliana Lee Marino, Megan Reynolds, Ale Romero, Jordan Smith, Meg Tansy, and John Winkler. And an extra special thank you to our amazing awards and honors manager, Madeline Shelton, for coordinating so many details, large and small, to make tonight possible. And speaking of tonight, it's almost time to learn which books will be the winners of this year's National Book Awards. Your support of the National Book Foundation helps share the energy and excitement that we are all feeling in this room right now with readers all across the country. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, everyone, for being with us tonight. Thank you believing, for believing in our work. And thank you for being part of the best team that there is, Team Book. Thank you, enjoy the night.